when you're working on getting better at something, like skipping, it's good to set goals and to know what goals you really want to accomplish, maybe at the beginning when you're first learning and then later as you're getting better and better. So with skipping, you might first say to yourself, well, I just want to learn what it means to skip and kind of get that first skip working okay, maybe slow, but okay. And then later on, you might decide that you want to skip more quickly. And so then that would be your new goal, is that now you want to get faster at skipping. So let's talk a little bit about the goals for tying your shoes and for building math facts fluency. So when you're first learning to tie your shoes, first you just have to figure out what it means to have your shoe tied in a way that keeps your shoes from falling off your feet. With math facts, you also want to figure out when you've got the right answers, when you're correct. So for instance, a lot of people know, just they just know that two plus two is the same as four. And that's absolutely true. We say, yes, I know two plus two is four. So the first goal when you work on building your facts fluency is just figuring out when the answers are right. When you're learning to tie your shoes, sometimes you try and find strategies to help you. And some of the strategies work okay for a little while, but then you don't want to use them forever. So you look for new strategies. So for instance, using a clothespin to help you when you're very first learning how to tie your shoes works, but you probably don't want to carry a clothespin around with you all the time. It's kind of the same thing with math facts. When you first start trying to figure out something like two plus three, you might use your fingers or you might count in your head for a while, but that kind of slows you down over the years of working with math. And so, you know, you want to kind of move beyond that when you can. So with tying shoes, you might try finding more efficient strategies than the clothespin. And one efficient strategy that some of you may be learning is to use bunny ears, special loops that help you tie your shoes. But some of you may be learning other efficient strategies for tying your shoes. With math facts, there are lots of different strategies that turn out to be pretty efficient. So for instance, with two plus three, you might say, well, since two plus two is four, all I really need to do is add one more. And so two plus three is going to be five. That's a pretty efficient strategy. Once you know how to get the answers correct and you found some efficient strategies, the last goal that you'll probably want to work on is getting faster. Just like when you tie your shoes, eventually it will be so easy that you'll just tie them without really even having to pay much attention and you'll be quick. So just like in math, when, when you know that two plus three is five with a, an efficient strategy, or maybe you just memorize it, then you'll just quickly be able to say two plus three is five. When you've accomplished all three of these goals, you'll be really confident with your facts and with tying your shoes.